I was with a friend and we were, um, we were watching a football game and I received a phone call from my dad and he was um, somewhere perplexed, he was concerned. He said, um, I think that your sister Brianna's dead. And I said, I mean, I was, I was in shock and I said to him, well, what do you mean? And he said, well, that was a car wreck. And then I texted my other sister, um, just thinking that they were, you know, that it was one sister that maybe was in a, a car wreck. So we went over to their mom's house and I was greeted by the highway patrol and he told me that both of my sisters were killed in a car wreck. It changed my, my family. So, I mean, it, it was, it was um, devastating. The driver of the car admitted to looking down at her GPS. And she said that as she looked down, she swerved and tried to overcorrect. And at that point, she was in the path of an 18-wheeler. So you talk about two promising futures that are no longer, you know, you know, they, they, they're, no, they're no longer here. So, I mean, it's, it's whenever you're dealing with a, with a tragedy that like the, like the two of them, and they were so young, you can only think about what could have been or what could be have, you know, what possibly their lives could have become. But now you just have a memory. You don't really have anything that you can, you know, you can look at. So it's, it's difficult. You can't really sum it up, but I would tell people to, you know, be careful and to make sure that they are exercising safe habits because like our family, I mean, you too could lose family members.